What's okay, up, everybody? Complex, always with the banger, with the banger intros, man. They tough. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Soho at Kith with Supermile Bella Hadid. Oh my God! You know she does her sh. I do mine, but yeah. I got these. Oh. She sound like Junior. I got these. I got these. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what she's feeling, what she's not, and then uh, hopefully she's gonna buy some sneakers. I think that's gonna happen for sure. Let's go. Let's get it. You know, it's crazy to me to think like Bella Hadid even needs to buy any sneakers because back in 2016, she already signed with Nike, so I feel like she can get whatever she wants, but hey, that's just me. Ooh, yeah. Bella, let's start with the Cortezes. Yes. It was like the summer of Cortezes, Nike's big campaign, and you were featured, you recreated. Great, that was f***ing insane. For me. Yo, her fit's dope. I, I, I rock with the ones and then, you know, the high top, kind of like over, kinda old school look of the jeans just going over. She got the off-white belt and then she got the black top with the choker. That's fresh. I really didn't know much about Bella Hadid. I only know her because she dated my brother the weekend, so. That's about it. Yeah, I feel like girls look so sexy in tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. I think it's like the dopest that you can wear with a dress, you know, with whatever you want. Indeed, I, think I it's agree. Like the hottest thing. I think it's like the hottest thing a girl can wear. And, yeah. Uh, sneakers on a man is definitely the first thing I look at. So if you're gonna have a dope shoe that both guys and girls can wear. Bella, Bella, hit, hit me up. I mean, come Perfect. on, matching shoes, that's dope. What are some of your sneaker turnoffs though? You know what? I'm cool with it, and I don't mind dirty sneakers, but you better they better be fresh, okay. you know? If Homeboy is coming through with these, right. it's... Fresh, dirty sneakers. I mean, are, are we talking like this? Like, these are dirty, but they still fresh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what she meant. I don't... I don't... I don't really know. Quiet, yeah, no, right. it's quiet for him. But, <laughs> like, if he comes through in, like, these... Yeah. You got some Air Maxes out here. Yeah. You got some Jordans. Homeboy's gonna like, get it. He's gonna get it? Is she talking a foreign language or? Basketball sneakers, like these Pippins and these are the old Jason kids. You know what? I love basketball sneakers and I think they're some of the dopest shoes that Nike has. But I mean, I already picked these out. We're those, going for these. Those are coming home with you. These are coming home with me. Gonna put these with the black dress. You can't go wrong with the up tempos. You're gonna look sexy as shit, so. Black dress. Slip ons over there. I don't know. Right. I don't know if no, we're gonna. Well, yeah, that's a no go. It's, it's a no go for me. I know you guys saw that crease. I know you saw that crease. The whole internet went crazy, bro. And you know, y'all are some clowns. Anyone that clowned creases and shoes and cringes, bro, it's not that big of a deal. Bro, sneakers are meant to be worn and creased. Like, chill, like, come on, man. It's not that serious. It's not a Jordan one if you don't crease it. Bella, you moved from LA to New York. LA is big on Vans. Yes. Are you still into Vans? You know what, I've always been into Vans. I've always been into high tops, low tops, whatever. Um, but yeah, growing up it was always like Vans and Doc Martens mm -hmm. and low tops and then Air Force Ones. Okay guys, so what I got from all this, you know, I saw this whole thing on Twitter and I was wondering like, well, it's like she was speaking a foreign language. Was, that would look dope and homie's gonna get it. But like, man, honestly, you know, we've all been at that point where we didn't really know much about sneakers and you know, we're trying to learn. It's just like anything. It's like me, newly, I'm getting into Supreme and you know, I may sound stupid about some things cause I don't know them. I understand she's trying to be a part of the culture. Nike's doing a little too much and being extra and getting people that really don't understand the culture to influence us when really it should be influencers that influence us, you know, if, if that makes any sense to you guys. I'm not saying me personally, obviously Jordan Brand has not rocked me and I have no problem with that because I'm just a guy that sits in my room and reviews sneakers, like I'm not even tripping. Like someone that would influence me or maybe possibly make me want the sneakers like seeing Drake or Travis Scott in a certain shoe, 
you know, when I saw Travis Scott first wear his off-white ones, I really wanted them more. You know, even uh, Pete Davidson, man, the first time I saw him wear the Just Dons, I was like, yo, those are dope. So it's like, you gotta get the right people. And you know, they have Bella Hadid because a lot of young girls look up to her. So a lot of these girls don't know anything about the sneaker culture, but you know, it looks cute to them and looks dope. So having someone at that status influences, so. It wasn't that big of a deal. The interview wasn't that crazy. She was trying a little too hard and I'm sure Joe was like, yo, what? Like sometimes I wish they would help these celebrities out before they have them look stupid, but it really wasn't that bad. And that was kind of all I wore in Converse. Did you see that when right. you moved to New York, your footwear changing at and all? And now you see like, she's talking normal. Like she's not saying, oh, I'd be dope and homeboy's gonna get it and wearing dirty, fresh sneakers. I don't even know what that means. That's crazy, but hey. Bella, do your thing. I have my little uniform on with my Air Force Ones, and um, that's kind of how I rolled. Nice. So the sneakers were like the statement piece. The sneakers were the statement piece because that was how I could express myself. You're right, man. She's talking normal. Like, this is what I expected Bella Hadid to talk like. Not saying dirty, fresh sneakers, bro. I'm still tripping off that, but it's true, man. Like, the thing about the sneaker community, even though maybe on YouTube it's falling apart and it's dying, it's not actually dying. Fashion is never going to die. Being unique and creative in your own way is not gonna die. Too many people are like busy being sheep. Nobody knows what they actually like anymore. I'm always gonna love Jordans, man. I got a whole bunch of Jordans. I still wear Jordans to the death of me. I'm getting into Vans. I'm getting into Supreme. I'm getting into Steve Madden. I'm getting into Stacey Adams. Like different styles, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. As you grow up, your style changes, man. And that's the best thing about this whole culture, this whole fashion industry. I think sneakers are like number one in fashion. I mean, if you have a sick pair of sneakers, it's gonna make or break your look, but everybody works really hard to make the best sneaker. And I yeah. think that's what's so cool about fashion too. It's like, you know, basketball, rappers, models, like yeah. everybody kind of comes together and makes like the sickest shoe they possibly can. And that's why so many sick shoes come out. It's all about personality. Yeah, man, it's all about personality. Make shit cool. People wonder how to make like a successful YouTube channel, bro. It's all about personality, you know? If you've been doing it for a long time and it still hasn't been blowing, keep grinding. But at the end of the day, people come to view your stuff because of your personality. That's what it's all about. So we talked about everything now is the easy part. You get the browser shells, pick out what you want. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, these are hot. Oh yeah, those are pretty. I love those. Okay. The total is $1,157.54. Total is $1,450.70. She, she probably like, wow. Thank you. Oh, American I Express, I see you. You're a kind, kind man, my friend. Oh, okay. One more. Great. Oh. Anybody gonna help her? Okay, I'll be back. All right, we ain't got any gentlemen Miss out you. here trying to help right. her. Now, the one thing you, can, you can't you can even be mad at, she didn't buy anything that's like hype beast, bro. She bought Jordans, Converse. I think I saw some Vans. I, I don't know if I saw a Puma. Air Max, like casual, not a hype beast. She just talking about dirty fresh sneakers, bro. I'm still tripping. Yeah, man, that's my reaction, guys. What did you guys think? If you want me to do any other reactions to videos, this is completely new for this channel, so I decide. I just decided to do it this time. Shout out to Bella Hadid, man. Shout out to Complex. Hopefully, y'all don't take down my video just because I did a reaction video. Come on, I'm just showing y'all some love. The links will be down below in the description if you want to watch the whole entire video. Oh yeah, man. I only got a few goat hoodies left, man. I literally, I only have like less than eight. So if you want to get yours make sure to go buy it right now and I will try to ship it out. If you buy it today, I'll get it shipped out tomorrow before I leave to Toronto. But this is your boy Mike, AKA Sneaker Life. I will see you in the next one.